Hey everybody, uh, it's a beautiful balmy uh, minus 7 Celsius, about uh, I guess about 19 or 20 degrees Fahrenheit here today. But uh, the sun is shining brightly and there's not a breath of wind. So no point in letting fear and common sense hold me back to get out and, uh, and do some flying. Um, unfortunately the weather is turning bad here for about a week with some rain and snow. So had to seize the opportunity. So today I uh, have my, um, one of my trusty MiG 35Bs. And I'm doing up the uh, finalizing some of the testing on this uh, Fast Tech uh, 2212-6-2700 kV motor. Uh, today I'm sp uh, spinning a 6x3x3 by three by three, uh, carbon fiber prop from RC Timer. Please uh, check the comments down below for uh, to links uh, uh, for uh, links to all the goodies I'm using today. So uh, <clears throat> anyway, it's sounding a bit louder than it should. I think it's mostly because the foam is frozen as, as is just about everything else. Uh, this plane was sitting in the garage uh, overnight before I brought it out to the field so uh, the, the foam and the prop are making kind of some funny harmonics at times but anyway fortunately uh, she's flying well and pray to god uh, we don't crash or it'll just be nothing but a bunch of confetti with the foam being so cold. Anyway here we go. <laughs> So pretty, uh, pretty speedy little combo here with, uh, with this motor. This fast tech motor is uh, really turning out to be a good find. Um, since the 2212-6-2700 kV motors seem to be harder to find these days. Uh, the, the carbon fiber prop uh, obviously is very stiff so acceleration is really, really quick and linear. Kick her over with the rudder there. Nice. Okay. Keep her out of the sun. So nice quick acceleration. <laughs> nice. So I think in bench testing I'm getting around 36 ounces of thrust uh, with this prop. A uh, little bit lower amp draw than, uh, than with the 6x3 EMP two-bladed prop, but not quite as fast. I think it's a bit quieter. <laughs> Pull some serious G there. So running a 40 amp speed controller, uh, 2200 3 cell 40C battery. Lots of, lots of get up and go. Oop. Almost lost her in the sun. That would be a self critiquing error. <laughs> It's really fun, you know, this motor is about $11 US, uh, shipping was free, very, very slow, but you know, you can really uh, get some good power out of it, good power and good speed, and it doesn't, uh, you know, it, it weighs the same as your standard 2212-2200 uh, motor, but uh, considerably, uh, considerably more power on 3-cell. Um, you are fairly limited, again, with uh, props. Um, the only props I've found that are really uh, usable in my experience to keep the motor from getting too hot is the 6x3 EMP two-bladed prop and this uh, RC Timer three-bladed uh, carbon fiber prop. Anything else and uh, the motor's drawing way too many amps and gets way too hot. Um, but you know for the price and the weight, uh, yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm really happy. This has always been one of my favorite uh, power, power setups. So we're going to bring it in and land from the other side. Doesn't really matter. There's no wind today. 
See what sort of landing rollout we get on the on the frost, <laughs> frosty grass. <laughs> so there we have it, uh, folks. Uh, a little bit of uh, desert camo action in uh, Arctic conditions, I guess you could say. So um, yeah, I'm just uh, pretty much done the testing now with this uh, Fastec uh, 2700 motor. Uh, I'll be posting up some details, more details on our uh, NAMSI website and on the uh, RC Powers uh, Parkjet motor uh, bench testing thread. So uh, thanks, uh, thanks very much for watching. As always, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Uh, Parkjet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.